اهلا بيكم طالبات وطلاب جريد 1 بريب برحب بيكم ومع بعض هنبدا درس جديد وحلقه جديده في الماث تحت رعايه واشراف وزاره التربيه والتعليم درسنا النهارده هيكون عن جيومتريك كونستراكشنز وهنحتاج ان احنا نستخدم الكومبوس فرجاء نجهزوا ونبدا مع بعض اول درسنا جيومتريك كونستراكشنز في أول فقرة هنتكلم عن Construction a perpendicular from a point outside a straight line خلينا نشوف الفيديو مع بعض وننفذ الخطوات In this part, we will learn how to construct a perpendicular from a point outside a straight line We have A, B as a given straight line and we have the point C which does not belong to the straight line AB To construct a perpendicular from the point C to the straight line A, B, let's follow these steps. From the point C as a center, we use a suitable radius to draw an arc that intersects with the straight line. A, B at the points X and Y as you see. Now, from X and Y as centers, we choose a suitable radius and draw two arcs which intersect at the point E. Do you know what our final step is? That's right. The final step is to draw the ray CE. That ray is perpendicular to straight line AB. So, we have learned in this part the way of constructing a perpendicular from a point outside a straight line. To be clear for you, let's apply the steps on the whiteboard. Now let's draw a perpendicular for, from a point outside the straight line or doesn't belong to it. If line AB is a given straight line and C doesn't belong to this line as shown in figure 1. The required is constructing the perpendicular to line A. B from point C. Let's apply the steps here by using compass. As you can see, we have a line AB and we are going to open the compass on a suitable radius or any equal distance and put the sharp point on C. And then draw a R. This is the first arc. Okay. We are going to do the same but intersect with A. So here. and draw another arc to the other side and let's call the two points for example E D and take the same radius on the compass and put it on each one of them on D and on E and draw another arc. Do you see this arc? Okay, I'm going to put the sharp point now on E. and draw another arc here we have an intersecting point this one this point from this point we have to match between C and the intersection point with a ruler So 
here. Exactly. So match between them with a straight line. This one now is a perpendicular on AB from C. So they are making a here this is a 90 degrees. This one is 90 degrees. So the perpendicular is making 90 degrees with A. B. This is the first point. Let's return back to the other idea, which is from perpendicular from a point on the same line. After we studied the way of constructing a perpendicular from a point outside the straight line, now we will study the way of drawing a perpendicular to a straight line that passes by a point which belongs to the straight line. We have the straight line A, B, and the point C belongs to AB. To draw a perpendicular line on AB from point C, the first step is to draw the straight line AB and label C, which belongs to AB. Okay, to draw a perpendicular to a straight line that passes through a point which belongs to that straight line. So here we have. If line AB is a straight line, is a given, and C belongs to line AB as shown in this figure, the required is drawing a perpendicular to AB from point C. C is on the straight line. This is C, and here we have A. And we have B. How can we draw it? So the first step, we have a, a point belongs to AB. The second, we are going to draw an arc from C to the side or to B and to A. Then the third step, we are going to open the compass on greater than half the distance between E and D. So for example, if E and D are four centimeters, we have to open the compass greater than two centimeters. From E, draw an arc, and from E, draw another arc, then match between the intersection point X and C. So now we got a perpendicular on it. So, and keep in mind, perpendicular means it makes a right angle with AB. The axis of symmetry of a line segment. It is a straight line perpendicular to it from its midpoint. In the opposite figure, if C is the midpoint of AB, this is C. For example, if this 4, so here we have 2 centimeters and here we have 2 centimeters. Okay, and then. L perpendicular on AB. L is perpendicular. Do you see the right angle? Here it is. And then the straight line L is the axis of symmetry of the line segment AB. Here it is. Let's do it. Third, bisecting a given line segment, constructing the symmetry axis of a given line segment. If AB is a given line segment as shown in figure 1, the required is constructing the symmetry axis of the line segment AB, the perpendicular to AB from its midpoint. So midpoint means we have two equal lenses. The first we have AB. Second, we are going to open the compass and put here on A, the sharp point on A, 
and draw an arc and do the same from point B, draw another arc. Then match between the intersecting point for the two arcs, D and C, then go on. So this is the perpendicular line and at the same, it, at the same time it's a uh, symmetry of line. Try yourself to do another one by using a compass. Let's watch this video. The axis of symmetry of the side of any triangle intersects at one point, and the position of this point differs according to the type of the triangle. Now, click on each card to learn about each type of triangle axes. The axes of symmetry of the sides of the acute angle triangle ABC intersects at point M, where point M is inside the triangle. The axes of symmetry of the sides of the right angle triangle ABC intersects at point M, where point M is the midpoint of the hypotenuse. The axes of symmetry of the sides of the obtuse angled triangle ABC intersect at point M, where point M is outside the triangle. Okay. So, the axes of symmetry of the sides of any triangle are intersecting at one point. We mark that the axes of symmetry of the sides of any triangle are intersecting at one point, say for example it's M. The position of M differs according to the type of the triangle as follows. The first case, here we have acute triangle. So here the intersecting point M is inside the triangle. The second case, we have right triangle. And the third case is for obtuse triangle. The intersecting point is outside the triangle as you see it. Here M is outside. So what do you observe? M is inside for the acute triangle. M is outside the triangle for the obtuse triangle. Here, using the geometric instructor draw a triangle ABC in which AB is equal to AC equals 4 centimeters. BC is 5 cm, then draw an, uh, the axis of symmetry of its three sides. Are the axes of symmetry of the three sides concurrent? What does it mean? Here, I need to get the position of this point according to this triangle. What do you observe? Just by looking here, we have acute triangle. Each one of them is less than 90. So what do you observe or what do you expect? Here, the point, it will be inside. M is inside. And how can we draw it? As we said in the first figure. Okay, from each one of them, from each vertex, draw an arc, then match between the arcs, then get this point inside the triangle. So here we have, using the compass with length 4 centimeters, Place the sharp point on the compass at each point B, C. Draw two arcs on the side B, C intersect at A. Draw B, A and C, A to get triangle A, B, C. Second, drawing the axis of symmetry of the side of a triangle A, B, C. We are going to do the same for each point of them. From B and C and A, we will get three intersection points here. Sorry, we will get one intersection point between all of them, between all the axes, uh, all the axes of symmetry. And M um, is inside the figure because the acute triangle. Now, let's revise what we talked about it uh, today. Uh, actually, we talked about the 
compost and how can we use it in constructions how can we draw the arc then match between the point to draw a perpendicular from a point outside the line or belongs to a line then we do the same for the uh, axis of symmetry and for the drawing point axis of symmetry of a triangle I hope it was clear for you. You have to try it with your compass. Thank you so much.